Welcome back, everybody, to the 2023 Derby City Classic Banks Division. Yes, this is the Banks Division, and what a great game it is, and we are in round nine. As you see on your screen, we have two legends of this particular game, Efren Batarez, and then, in my opinion, top three bank pool players on the planet, at least arguably, Billy Thorpe. You will notice that Efren has won the lag. This is round nine, like I said, and I would expect some fireworks here. Very important match, especially leading to what's to come. Master of the table, every game, every ball, every round is important. So it is a race to three. This is nine ball banks. The first player to make five of any of these balls that you see on your screen wins the game. There is no three foul rule in effect, but if you scratch at any time, whether it be no rail, cue ball scratches in a pocket, you will owe a ball and go backwards, similar to one pocket. So Efren is to break the balls. And speaking of the scratch, I hope I didn't give him the old commentator jinx, but he has scratched. And typically, they'll put a coin up. Billy's just moving the bead, which works just as well. So immediately... And I hope we get treated to a great match. Billy is just so talented with these banks, especially multi-rail banks. But immediately, you could probably see a straight back on the 4 or a cross corner on the 15. Now, when he's banking at this, he's banking it to make it and play position most of the time. Well, he knocked it down very cleanly. What does he have? I will say right away, this is the only angle I have. So the calls that I make might not be 100%. He's going to straight back this three. He's elevating so he can shorten the three up a little. And he's playing the cue ball kind of in a no man's land place. Does the four impede the three? The one impedes the six? Does the four bank straight back? Yeah, as of right now, I'm looking, and this is why Billy played the cue ball there. It's kind of a sneaky defensive play or two-way shot. Heffern looking to play the four straight back. And I believe he's playing it under him. So he's going to use a touch of right-hand English here. He's going to go into the 9, I believe. He's just missed the 9, but he's overcut it. And that's why he's missed the 9. This is going to hurt. Billy immediately has the cross on the 3. He's going to cross-face this. He can use a center ball or a little bit of outside English. Straightens the ball out. And he's caught it thick. So a lot of times playing bank pool, you'll start out a little bit cold. The minute you start feeling it, these balls start going in real clean at this level. Once again, notice everything kind of blocking everything, right? The one blocks the six, the four is blocked by the one as well. Can you stiff the three by the four? I don't know. You can play the four cross side, but it requires a real thin and accurate hit. He's playing it one rail and it did get past the one. Excellent play. Does this open up an avenue for the three? And this angle's a little misleading. I believe the three plays. 
You wouldn't be shooting it if it didn't. And it's going to carry position. Right, he's played it long, so it clearly played. And he's going to sell out another cross side on the three. Did Billy just recognize that Efren owed one, and he did? Or did that ball go on the side? There's the hit. He hits that bank so clean. Same type of shot. And these guys tend to hit these with more speed than soft. Notice the speed that they hit these at. He's a little bit wide there as well. So it's got to make adjustments. Play that shot just a hair thinner. Efren looking to the straight back underneath him. Lower left corner, or excuse me, top left corner. He's going to use a little bit of low right here, I believe. Yes. And that right English is going to help that ball turn, but he's left another cross side for Billy if it doesn't freeze. Thorpe has two balls, Efren with zero. That's right in the guts. He's landed on the eight. But I don't believe it clears the one. He's looking at the 13 by the eight. Is he looking at it once or twice? I believe he's looking at it once. Yeah, what a hit that is. It looks so easy how he's playing these balls and let me tell you it's far far from that it's years of experience years the nine does cross corner here below the 11 it's tight but it does go with a pinch of inside english see i have a tough time with this bank because you've got to cut it you just don't know exactly how it's going to react but billy thorpe does and in record time practically Thorpe takes game one. I am your host, Scott Frost, a.k.a. The Freezer. Hope you all are enjoying. What a big match this is. Yeah, and this video is brought to you in part by Bad Boys Billiard Productions. Thank you guys so much for your participation. I cannot stress how important this match is to these two guys. We're in the first event of a week long worth of events. You've got the one pocket following this and then the nine ball. Nice pop there, but did he get anything down? The four is tracking, but it's going to hang. A big opportunity for Efren if he can find something. The six is not available. I believe the three's got him covered. But it could be misleading. But there is a master of the table here at the Derby City Classic. And it pays twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars. It's a award that I've been chasing for years. I've taken second once or twice and third many times. And it is a very difficult award to win I believe Efren was won this award five times in his career which is mind boggling so he must be able to see the 11 oh and he tried to shorten it he could only see a part of that ball you could tell by the way it bent once again, he's giving these cross sides up, and you just can't do that with Billy Thorpe. And he's going to carry a position here on something, I would assume. Well, he's got a shot on the threes. Lucky that cue ball settled. Man, he is so, so pure. playing the six cross corner 
He's going to use a touch of left English to help the six travel. Oh, he overspun it. Too much left, in my opinion. Q kind of went off in his hand, but look at this. Another fortunate roll, in my opinion, or at least this is a fortunate roll, with the nine creeping up, covering the side pocket. So what do you have here? You could play a long cross corner, maybe on the five, or that stripe nearest the five to the lower right corner. Can you do anything with the nine? I don't think so. I think the six has got him covered. He's going to look at the defensive play here. And that tells you that he was looking at pretty much nothing at that moment. I do think a cross corner is available. And he's going to play it. 12 ball coming at him. Another great hit. He loves to hit these banks with authority. Cross corner five coming at us. I'm learning as I speak. Cross side six. Billy already up four balls to nothing in game number two. And it's over just like that. Thorpe leading two games to zero in what seems like seven or eight minutes. Pretty interesting. Now, he has had a couple little funny things go his way, keeping Efren off the bank in Efren's defense. So let's see how this plays out. Yeah, and this stream is sponsored by Hustling USA. A Jerry Olivier Custom Cues. Lippman Lights. Thank you guys so much for your participation. Billy come up dry, I believe, the last time he broke, so he's uh, manhandling the balls. Let's see what he can do here. He'd like to pocket a corner ball and get something to look at. Yeah, yeah, no doubt there. Drilled the corner ball and made the ball on the side. He's got to look at the two cross corner. He's going to have to elevate if he plays that. He's also got to look at either one of those balls, which would be the one or maybe even the ten cross corner. He's going at the one. It looks good. He's hit it a little heavy. Once again, Efren. And it's not by luck very often that he comes up with nothing. Billy's playing that cue ball in an area where he knows Efren's going to have to earn it. It's called being very conscious of your surroundings on the table, and that's what Billy is. And I think that's a decent play, but I think he's left a cross corner on the nine. Unless it's too steep or Billy can't reach it. The defensive play is always there. Okay, he's made both balls. He's punched the cue ball forward just a little bit or stunned it forward, leaving... Heffern, nothing, nothing easy. Coming off of this two, playing it back in the same corner, could prove disastrous. You're going to get that cue ball down there in the patch, which could cost you dearly. So do you kick two rails towards the 4, 10, 11, 15 and play some type of a safe? You can roll the one and you're going to leave a straight back at minimum. But does the 10 bank cross side? If not, the 2 bank straight back. Yeah, 
does the 11 cross. I believe he's going at the 10. Okay, Efren overlooked one there. He got a little fortunate. Billy hit that wide. Now it's Efren's turn. Yeah, nicely done, and he stopped right there for the 11. Now can he get into the patch? If he can get into the patch, he can run some balls, and I'm talking about the 15, 13, 12, 4, 7. You want to power this ball if that's what he decides to do. Otherwise, he could probably go forward. It's just a little tougher on the old ticker rolling it. Well, he did roll it. I don't know that he got rewarded. He's got a straight back. You've got to wonder what he's thinking, though. Billy's knocked two games down in very short time. Efren's going to be highly aware of this cue ball. You have to keep your man off of the shot unless you're certain you can put the bank down. I'd say he's definitely got to be a slight favorite to put the 13 down. He's really putting some time in it. I don't blame him. He's overcooked this by some margin. And that's what tends to happen when you want to put English on a long on a long railer like that. A lot of times that ball's gonna take the spin sooner than you feel, and you're you're gonna hit it wide. Billy gonna shorten this 15 up. Oh, he did with with a soft spin. Does it fall? We are playing on four and a quarter inch pockets this year at the Derby. And I know the great players like it. This cloth is fresh though, so the pockets should take the ball quite well. I'm a little surprised that held up. Efren looking at the straight back on the 12, but the kiss could be in play. Selected to go to the two. I like this shot. He's hit it decently. It's going to hold up, but he played the cue ball, which makes life difficult for Billy. Reyes leading two balls to zero. Thorpe leading two games to zero. This is a short race to three. And everything is on the line. He's definitely got a cross on this 12. But where can you play the cue ball? At this point, Efren might be looking for the two-way. Meaning, play the object ball and the cue ball. Oh, he's hit it sweet. What a hit that was. A big hit in the third game for Reyes. He's going to have another look at this bank. Did he go to school from the last time? Let's see if he removes some of the English that he put on it last time. Well, he has, and I believe it's going to drop. Does the four play three rails in the side? That three ball looks like a big ball here. Yeah, he's come a little long because of the three, but boy, he hit it good. It tells me that it must have gone. 
maybe a little different English or just take a little off of it. Billy coming at us with the straight back. He's hit it wide, easily done on that shot. And Reyes has an opportunity to get back in this match with this four ball right here. Oh, man, he's hit it thick. Kind of unexpected there. I felt like he started feeling it. And now Ray is just going to chill out there at the table while Bill decides to bank him in. There he goes. <laughs> is Billy playing the four-railer? He is playing the four-railer. There's nobody better on the planet than Billy Thorpe at the four-railer. Even at the three-railer, he is known. His claim to fame is by the rail. And if he can bank him by the rail, you're in trouble. Meaning two or more rails. How's his cue ball speed? He wants that to settle. That back rail is your friend. Can Efren bank the four? He can bank the 13 and go forward. Yeah, he's hit it short. Ooh, and he did not want to drop that ball. That ball, Billy couldn't win as long as that ball stayed hanging. Now they're available for the taking. It just starts off with this bank. Thorpe needs four. Efren needs one. Uh, he was going at it. He knew if he got that down, he'd have an opportunity, but Reyes now has the opportunity. He's got options. He could cross the face of the seven. He could shorten the four, but the problem with banking the four is that you can't protect the cue ball. Can he bank the 10? You're going to leave something tough if you lag the 10 to the lower left corner. Or do you just bear down and cross the 7 in? There's three banks available here. Let's see what he chooses. He's taking the time because he knows... What's to come if he doesn't execute? He's going at the four. He is going to leave a bank if he doesn't pocket this. And he has left a bank. That's seven banks. Well, I don't know if Billy has to cross the face of it or not. I think he does. Might have to hit it a bit slower, or is he going to hit it heavy and shorten it up with speed? Yeah, I think he had to cross the face of that. It came long. I don't know that he could hit it thin enough. Ray is going for the cross corner and to get on the board. Cross side, excuse me, to get on the board, and he's done it. Finally, Reyes takes game number three. And we've got a little bit of a match if Reyes drops a ball in this break. We're looking at a hill hill match, possibly. Yeah, and this entire event is hosted by Diamond Billiard Products, Ian Simonas and Son Simonas Cloth, Aramith Billiard Balls, Outsville Accurac, AccuStats Video Productions, and Masters Billiard Chalk. Thank you guys so much for putting this event on. We love the Derby City Classic. I am your host, Scott Frost. I hope everybody is enjoying this as much as I am. I am learning. I hope you are learning. And if you're not learning from me, learn from the players. Billy Thorpe is a treat to watch play bank pool. And Efren Reyes is a treat to watch play anything. And I think he knows how important it is to get these balls racked properly. He 
Yes, so there's so many players. I, I don't know the exact amount of players in the banks in this event, but there are so many players that they do have to find ways to speed these tournaments up. Races to three in the bank pool are pretty short, right? But it's, it's necessary in order to get these tournaments done. It's grown substantially over the years. Reyes to break, game number four. Wow, everything was close to going in. Does the two cover up the side? I believe this 10 banks past the two, and it does, or Billy wouldn't shoot it, whether it makes it or not. He's caught the two, but it did have an alley. He's just caught it a hair thin to make matters worse for Thorpe. He's allowed Efren to look at the one. But Efren is now thinking about things. He's thinking about that cue ball, right? You go at this bank, are you playing the cue ball safe or are you just going to go all out? If he's shooting the one, he's going all out. Big shot here for Reyes in game number four. And he's body Englished that ball straight into the hole. Now what does he have? The two and seven, semi blocking the top left. The straight back on the nine is readily available. He could hit this with a high touch of right. I don't think the three banks cross side. If Efren gets this cue ball over here on the Lower right rail. I think that's actually what he's looking at. He's thinking, man, can Billy whiffle the three in on me? I think he's made this as well. Ooh, he's hit it wide, a hair short, excuse me, a hair short. Billy's got a cross corner right out of the gate. I don't know if he's going to play the three. I, he can probably twist that three. But boy, that 10 looks like a big ball. He's playing the three cross corner. I like it. Man, what a hit. Note the track that the cue ball took. So he had to adjust the hit on that three. He played it much thinner. Straight back on the 10. This is going to be short. A little uncharacteristic. But in a player's mind, when they've got new cloth, the mind tends to want to think the ball's going to lengthen up automatically. And on these true diamond tables, the blue label, they play much more true than you naturally think, even with the fresh cloth. Brez needs to be careful here. He's going at the straight back on the 15. Big shot here. Okay, he drew the cue ball. He got a friendly rub on the three fit with the 15 coming all the way back down. He could have easily sold out something a little bit better than this. But we can't imagine Billy playing safe, so he's going to take a look at this seven straight back. And he's hit it short as well. And it goes back to that new cloth. In your mind, you're thinking it's going to lengthen out. And you just don't make the adjustment necessary. I've dealt with it for years. And I've seen other players deal with it for years. Man, that's a great hit. Very, very difficult to hit that ball accurate when you're floating it with a high cue ball to get it down table. Ray is going to the same pocket again. I 
He's come very short this time. Rayo's trailing two games to one, but leading two balls to one. Huge, huge game for Reyes. It's a must win in this race to three. And Billy's hit this wide. He's going to leave the bank as well. So Billy making an over adjustment, comes short twice, and then long there. He's put a nice stroke on it. It held up. Billy's got a three in the side here. That's what he calls. Could pinch this with a little high right. It really likes to lengthen up on that third rail. It did, but it didn't lengthen up enough. Come very short. Reyes has got a decision to make. I think he's going to bank at this too. If he can bank at the two with any control, he's going to have a built-in safety because of the cluster of balls in the lower left and the three ball, right? So you can straight back this ball to the top right corner with pocket speed. It's going to be difficult for Billy to have anything following this, but Efren looks like he's going to hit it with pace. Okay, he hit it with a pace where it kind of clears out. I believe he's going to leave a cross corner. He did leave the cross corner, but Billy's going to pass it up. Can you blame him right now? Oh, and I like it. Notice what he did. He doubled Efren up. Does Efren have a look at the two? He's playing the two, three rails and going forward. This is all about the cue ball. Well, it's also all about that two ball. Man, I thought he hit it good. Billy Thorpe with the straight back on the blue two. trailing two balls to one in this game. He's hit it wide again, so too short, too wide. You got to wonder if that adjustment he's making is ill-fated. Is there a cross side on this 15, or is there a two-railer on the 15? I don't believe so. He's going to play a little nip and tuck here. Yeah, so a little cat and mouse in the middle of the fourth game. Did he leave a shot on the 13 here? Billy going to go up table here. He's hit it a little firm. You want that cue ball to rest up there where those two pieces of chalk are. So he's hit it quite firm. Efren has options here. He can straight back the blue two and play the cue ball. Two rails back up towards that chalk. And that's what he's going to do. I think it's a good choice. It's kind of a two-way play. A lot more free. Wow. So these pockets are holding up. Yes, that two caught the rail quite a ways up. But once it gets deep in there like that, it should drop. I think it's a great thing that they're tighter. I know these great players do as well. Efren going to have a little bit to deal with here. Is Billy going to try and corner hook him? He's not. So what do you do? Do you come off of the nine and swing the cue ball two rails back up? 
to the top rail. Just play a defensive play. This is obviously a must-win game for Reyes. Okay, is he going forward playing this in the lower right? That's just an amazing hit. It's 69 years young. He's hitting that ball. Such a tough shot to get that cue ball all the way back and to pocket that bank with accuracy. So difficult. Is he coming around the world here? He is, and that was extra difficult, and it could prove disastrous because he's left a great bank for Thorpe. Ray is leading three balls to one, but you get the feeling not for long. And he's going to knock that down. Billy giving Efren his ball. Class act. Thorpe playing for three. Reyes playing for two. He's looking at the cross on the 15. You probably have to shoot it with an outside, an inside English to miss the kiss. He's playing the four railer here. It's going to be close because that's just what he does. And it was close, but not close enough. He didn't dig the cue ball the way he expected. He wanted that cue ball up table a little bit more. I expect Efren to cross the 15. It's a pretty free shot. It's a common one pocket shot. Is it going to drop? Boy, he had just the right speed on it. But he's semi-trapped himself here. Yeah, this is a little bit of a pickle. He can come off the edge of the three and try and get the cue ball back up table. It requires a real accurate hit, and I think he's got to catch the three thin. If he catches the three thick, it's going to come out off the nine. Big shot here. Yeah, very big shot there. He caught it a little thicker than he wanted. Billy going to go backwards with the three. Hit it easy so it could take, and I think he's got it down. He did get it down. He's playing for two, and Efren is sweating. Cross side, 12. Note the nine. He will have a bank if he gets this down. He's hit it short. Unexpected, especially as good as he was hitting those early in this match. Reyes has a cross corner here. It's a conventional one pocket shot. Doesn't have to hit it too hard. Put a tip of outside English on it, maybe a touch of below. And to tie this match up, can he do it? He has done it, I believe. He has done it. And we have a Hill Hill match, folks. And just like that, a two to nothing lead proves minor to Efren Reyes. And do us all a favor like and subscribe, please. Hit that notification bell. Railbirds TV bringing you all the action, doing the best they can with the tools they've got. Thank you so much. Can Reyes get a ball down? In his later years, 69 years old, absolutely amazing, but he's dealt with shoulder issues. Very, very difficult for him to get power into the break. Power's not real necessary playing nine ball. 
I think hitting it more square is probably more important than power. He's got the eight down. He's got three balls down. So I don't know where that came from, but it happened. And unfortunately for Reyes, there's nothing that just pops out at me except the 13. And that is fraught with peril, as the great Grady Matthews would say. The problem with that ball is that you could lose the game shooting it. Can he stiff the 10 or shoot the 5 straight back and swing the cue ball? Looks like he's going to stiff the 10. Unless he's shooting the 5. Tough to tell. Yeah, he elected to stiff the 10, and this is going to be cost costly here. Yeah, and Billy's staring down the pipe of the five, right? Does he play it in the lower left or the lower side pocket? I think the side is the natural play. And this is it, folks. It's a race to three. We are Hill Hill. Somebody's going to advance into round ten and keep that master of the table hope alive. Yeah, and that's such a great hit. And the reason being is he's using a high cue ball. And it's not real easy to measure how long that ball is going to come off the rail. Because it tends to lengthen out with a high cue ball. So you can tell Thorpe is comfortable. And he's obviously comfortable in round nine, right? But at the same time, it takes a little heart to roll that bank like that. And I'm a little surprised he's not banking the seven. He's afraid of selling out, I assume. And he really laid the cue ball down there. It's hard to argue with that decision. Called that ball two rails on the side. He was off by just a mark, but he got the cue ball snug. Efren, big decisions here. Going to come off the edge of the three and put him down low. I do like it. He's got coverage everywhere. Billy's playing the two radar again. I'm surprised he didn't actually play the three railer. He called the side pocket there. I felt like the three railer laid a little bit more natural. Efren, once again, faced with pretty much nothing, in my opinion, from what I see. Does he come off the three? I don't see anything wrong with pocketing the three and swinging the cue ball one, two, three rails up to the center of the top diamond. Okay, he's playing all cue ball here, but he didn't get it down as far as he wanted. So he's going to leave a straight back on this nine. Does Billy stun forward to play position? I don't think so. I think he's going to draw back. Boy, he's hit it short. He wants that ball to catch the point, and it did. So a little fortunate there that the nine didn't come back for Efren. Speaking of the nine, that's what he's going to come off of here. He's got to get that cue ball down. I think he's done much better this time. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. So what does Billy decide to do here? He's going to play safe. Can't blame him. Especially where those balls lay. He's going to leave a bank on this three if Efren wants to entertain it. 
and he can swing the cue ball three rails. He's hit this bank good the whole match. Yeah, I think Efren takes this three on. Unless unless it's a little more straight than I think, I think he can swing the cue ball three rails. The only way he won't shoot that is if it's straighter than I think. Because you can swing the cue ball three rails. Okay. He was straighter than it looked. Most of these guys are going to bank at that three and play the cue ball just like he did there. But if it's too straight, he can't create the angle. Boy, is Thorpe banking at this? No, he's coming off the 12. Great shot. Notice these guys tightening up or cinching down. They know what's at stake here. They started out flying at everything, and now that there's one game in the balance, it's a little different mindset. This could pose problems for Reyes. Can he come off of the 7 and go between the 12 and 13 and lay the cue ball back down up table? Can he come off of the 9 and 2 rail around the 13? Or can he just cross the 13 over? Okay, he came off of the 9. Look at the speed. Pretty good. Real good. Does Thorpe have a cross corner on this 13? Oh, he's hit it real thin. He's fortunate he didn't catch the kiss there. I think he wanted to turn it a little bit more. I don't know that he was trying to make it. I think he wanted to turn it and get the cue ball on the inside of that ball. Not positive. So we're going to have a little safety battle sending this cue ball up table here for the next few innings, especially the way these balls are laying unless Efren underhits this, which he has really poorly. Efren makes a big, big error in game number five. Thorpe leading one ball to zero. He can pinch this eight. He could also hold the seven up. The reason I mentioned the eight is he might be able to draw out of it to get the cue ball back up. He's going at the seven. Yeah, and he looked real good over that ball, right? Sometimes you just watch a player and you say he's not missing this bank. That's how I felt over that. Nice hit by Billy Thorpe. Does he elect to play the defensive shot again? Well, he's hit it fat. He's hit it fat. I don't think he broke as many bones as Reyes did. But he has hit it fat. Reyes calling. Does he have a window on the two? He's calling it to the corner. Okay, he's drawing this between the 13 and 8, playing the 3, 2 rails. Let's get a look at this. Oh, he's changed his mind, or is he... Yeah, he's still playing it. Uh, he's tried to draw it between the 13 and 8. I'm very surprised he played the shot. You know if Efren plays the shot, it's 9 times out of 10 going to be right. That one went awry on him. And Billy Thorpe has an opportunity to close this match out. Cross side on the 10. He will have something afterwards. Wow. That ball shortened up big time. So Reyes, the, the real master knowing what's going on at all times, planned for that, and look at what he's received. Cross corner. Mm. 
nicely struck right in the heart. He's got a cross corner on this three. He needs to commit. I don't see a way to get this cue ball safe of anything. Big shot here for Reyes. And it's come very long, but he has tucked the cue ball, which is very important. Ray is playing for four. Thorpe playing for three. He's going to play this cue ball to the bottom rail. I don't know that he wanted that ball to drop in the side. He's left a straight back to the top left for Reyes. He's called it. He's going to elevate. Notice the struggles with his elevation. That's that back shoulder. He's hit it a little thin. He's got the cue ball kind of where he wants it. I don't know if Billy can entertain this black eight. I think he can. Yes, he can. If he can, he's going to stick him right there on those two balls. But he needs to be mindful of the two. So now he's coming back. Now he might be shooting the two, which I believe is probably the better of the two shots. Oh, he's hit it very wide. He doesn't want to catch those balls. It could go real bad. Did he get away with it? I think the two plays cross corner below the 12. The eight obviously plays straight back. The 12 will play up in that top corner. I know it doesn't look like it, but it would trickle. But there's no defensive play shooting the 12. I don't know that there's much of a defensive play shooting anything here, the way these balls are laying. Therefore, I think you need to commit. If you find a shot that you like, you've got to commit. He's playing the eight. He's had success with this shot. Playing for four. And he's hit it long, and this is going to sting a bit. Scrappy game here in the fifth game. He wants that eight to stop. And I don't believe that it's stopped in time. So the eight has blocked the 12 cross side. Unless he can stiff it. Looks to me on our screen... He might be able to play it twice, but he thinks he can stiff it, so he probably can. This is Billy Thorpe. Yeah, the eight was in the way. Pretty big roll there for Reyes. He's going to try and twist this back. Two rails. And it looks to be on the money. Okay. It was close, but not close enough. What a great hit that was. Thorpe. 
Thorpe playing four rails here on this stripe. Oh, he's run into the 13. He didn't want that. Does the stripe go? It's Mr. Four Railer, they call him. What a hit this was. Was he playing safe? We'll never know. He runs straight into the 13, and now he's got a bank on the 13, playing for two and to advance into round 10. Oh, and he's drained it. And he is going to have something. Well, it's landed pretty funny. Does he have a bank on the seven? They would have to cross the face of it. He's going to manipulate the three cross corner or straight back, depending on how he feels. Billy Thorpe, the type of guy that shoots four railers better than I shoot one railers. Cross corner coming at you to advance to round 10. And he's done it. Great match. What a match by both players. Very scrappy hill hill game fighting to the very end. I am your host, Scott Frost. Thank you all for tuning in. Until next time, talk to you soon.